The United States Senate designated the month of January as Human Trafficking Awareness Month. It is aimed at putting an end to human trafficking, return rights to individuals, and make the world a safer place for all inhabitants. It is against this backdrop that this NGO, Devil Top Center for African Development, is partnering with NAPTI to train volunteers on strategies of combating human trafficking and gender-based violence. We also need people. NAPTI cannot do it alone. Law enforcement work is everybody's job. Like you know we cannot be everywhere. But if we have you, if we have Nigerians, you sitting at home, if you have information, you bring it to NAPTIP, we'll be able to do something about it. And together, we can create a safe Nigeria and make our children safe and fight human trafficking and kick it out of Nigeria. We have been encouraging young people uh, you know, to discourage them from embarking on that kind of dangerous trip. If you want to travel out, follow the, the, the necessary route. You know, NAPTIP is not against those who are uh, traveling, traveling out. But if you want to use the wrong means, you're just endangering your life. For the director of DevTop, the reason is to help stop human trafficking quickly. He emphasized that the country is losing on a daily basis. It able youth to the trend and the need to have it eradicated. We mobilize about 35 people from different states, volunteers and core members to the trend. And then afterward, they will be expected to take action in their various communities. So this is basically what we are doing today. After training them, they will become a voice to the voiceless. And we expect them that within the three, next three months, they will be able to reach out to at least 2,000 people. So because for us, the fight against human trafficking is everybody's responsibility. No one needs to wait until he's affected by human trafficking before taking action. And young people are the major victim. In fact, young people are the... 80% of the victim between the ages of 6 and 24. For these participants, they argued that poverty is not the cause of human trafficking, so they took a different stand. They said indiscipline is the major cause of human trafficking in Nigeria. They are ever out governments to declare war against human trafficking. When it is eye-opening, the statistics, the, the, everything is mind-blowing because if you don't participate in a program like this, you might not know what is really happening out here. I've been able to understand that my neighbor, my uncle, my father, I myself might even be partaking in human trafficking unknowingly. The place of ignorance comes to place. So I have come to understand and how to identify a human victim and how to rescue a human trafficked victim. Majorly for me, I think it's indiscipline. Yes, I'll, because if you know what is wrong, this thing is not right. Why do it if you're disciplined enough? I think one is indiscipline, and then the other thing is the quest for, for, uh, for uh, quick, quick success, quick riches. Because there is money in it. Pimp a girl for somebody, and you, you know how much you're going to get paid and all that. There's good money, but it's not right. It's not the right way of making money. So why would we do it? So for me, I would, I would say it's indiscipline. I wouldn't even say it's poverty. I think it's the highest level of indiscipline that makes people get into human trafficking. Now that the dangers of human trafficking have been identified, Nigerians are expected to be more careful as they go about their daily businesses. But what is left to be seen is how the relevant stakeholders who handle the minutes in Nigeria. Uh, Biomi, uh, Kimbola, PTV News, Abuja.